Hey, what's up everyone? Gerard here with today's daily shave video. And today, I'm gonna be shaving with Oleo Soapworks number 11. And so, um, this is a soap. Um, if you've seen my videos, you know I like a lot of Oleo. Um, like, love their products. Uh, and getting up close, you can see in there that this, in fact, is a barbershop scent. Um, this is inspired by um, the cologne by Maison Margiela uh, replica at the barber. Okay? And so I'll be talking about the notes on this, thoughts and everything. Um, today I have that with the matching aftershave splash. And I'm going to be using the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush. This is with the 26 millimeter Finest Badger Knot. And to mow it down, I'm going to be using the West Coast Shaving 78S. Uh, this is with the Open Comb Head with a Voshod Blade or Wasod blade in there, okay? I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, so let's go at it. Um, I did shower uh, just now. Um, it is evening where I'm at in California, and I'm gonna use some of the <clears throat> excess foam here as, an after as a pre-shave. And so this, as you may have guessed, is a barbershop set. Everything about it, it's literally a, a replica of replica at the barbers. And so you're gonna get notes of basil, lavender, tonka bean, pepper, rosemary, and white musk. And off the puck, I'd say the scent, or off the tub, the scent is very, um, it's very mild actually. It's not crazy strong. Um, I've used a lot of other barbershops uh, in the past, um, but it's very pleasant, okay? So, I mean, you can already see, like I had so much excess and this soap is just uh, fantastic to lather. It's, I, I think of it as a lather monster. I'm gonna have just a little bit more water in here with my little 99 cent bottle. And just look at this. This stuff comes up almost like buttercream, like, like cake frosting. Maybe not as voluminous. Although I'm sure if I tried, I could probably get it there. But it's just such a pleasure to use. And But as I use it, it is fantastic to lather. Okay. I have a little over a day's growth on here. Okay. And I'm pretty excited to talk to you about this. I think it's been a while since I've done an Oleo review, but <clears throat> let's see how this goes. And actually, I don't think I've used this head because I got it pretty recently So uh, for a video, so I'll kind of talk about it. Now, um, before I start, the difference between a close comb and an open comb head is you can see like right there, the kind of teeth that are exposing more of the blade, okay? So um, it is, depending on how you shave, the blade you shave with, it can be slightly more aggressive at the minimal, um, could be majorly more aggressive. And there's, a, I got some soap scum on here, but you can see this is the bamboo with a close comb head as opposed to seeing the teeth there with an open comb. Okay? So here we go. Okay. 
Okay. With open comb, um, open comb heads, if you have a little bit more growth, um, it's easier. You don't get a lot of those whiskers getting caught up inside the blade. I don't really grow that fast or that much. So I don't really suffer from that predicament. Oleo soaps, as you know, or if not, they are made by Vita is the proprietor, owner, and soap queen over there. And like many of us, she suffered from a variety of skin ailments, things like that, and had reactions to a lot of the chemicals in commercial soaps and bath products, which is why she started Oleo. Her canard base is one of my favorite bases at the moment. You know, primary slickness is great. Residual slickness, I can go over this probably three, four times and just be fine. Poche feel is excellent. Right? So, that's the first one. I'll go here a second. Like I said, this is a, this can be a thirsty soap, but it's so easy to lather. I probably lathered for maybe like 30, 45 seconds and just got an exceptional, look at that, amount of, okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. Add a little bit more water and just, you can see the other side, it just whips. Oh. This crazy. Monster lather. I'm gonna have enough in here for probably 10 passes, to be honest with you. Okay? So, what with the grain, I'm gonna go against the grain now. I have to watch out for myself here. I got a bug bite. And I think I just went over it and probably nicked myself again. We'll see. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Hopefully not. Uh, I'm doing some laundry. And it just sounds a little bit louder than usual. The agitator anyway. I'm using this open comb head. Um, it definitely feels more aggressive, but not overly so. As compared to the closed comb. With that closed comb, I feel like I can go over my face a million times uh, and I'm going to get like a fantastic shave, you know. Definitely here near the mustache, upper lip. I can definitely feel it more. Put along my neck. Things like that. Feels pretty good. Yep. I did nick myself right there. Mmm, beauty one. Okay. Then, finally we're just gonna go for the last one. And so, with this one I'm kinda gonna go doing the J-hooks. Oh! Look at that. Ugh. I got... Super Soap.
I don't even think I need to add water on this third pass. It's gonna be great. Okay, gonna just watch myself here. As I go over, I definitely can feel the exposure like this. From with the grain, not much. Against the grain, in some sensitive areas like the upper lip, but definitely across the grain and doing these like hooks, J hooks, I definitely do feel it. Okay, so watch yourself. Oh yeah, very nice shave, very mild scent. I think some barber shops out there, very, very in your face. Um, <clears throat> one of the ones, um, I'm gonna just shout out a couple of others. Um, I have another room, but um, Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber. I feel a little bit more. Maybe I can kind of go over it. Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber, um, probably one of the longest lasting uh, barber shops out there. Um, you get a lot more of the gun smoke, um, like the gas and, uh, and things like that, because it's meant to be like a Wild West barber shop, or AKA Ghost Town. So evoking those. Old West notes. Bear Stern Man has probably the most popular barbershop out there with Seville. I think you can hear that, right? And I can go over that with my residual because the, the residual slickness is still good here. And I don't feel at all worried about it. Okay, but it's nice. Yep, that that nick is gonna be there. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay. Beautiful shave. Um, yeah, scent isn't that strong throughout the shave, but I think this is just one of those classic barbershop scents that you can just put on the side. I, I could definitely use this every single day, okay? Um, if you look up at the barber, the actual fragrance itself, um, it's sometimes described as citrus and woody. Um, I would say if they're gonna go with the citrus, it's probably from the lavender, which is paired a lot with citruses. Um, I definitely get that, but I don't get the kind of citrus that you would get in, say, Seville, which is very citrus forward, um, more herbaceous. This is definitely more subtle, um, definitely like if you were probably shaving in, in the 60s, wanted like a classic scent, this evokes that type of, uh, that type of shave, that type of fragrance. Very unassuming, but I think if people are going to, um, Notice your shave, they'll be like, oh, what is that? I, I know that smell, very, very familiar to them, okay? Can use the matching aftershave. Okay. Mm. Okay. Definitely getting that peppery basil and rosemary in this. Um, there is, 
think there's some other, I know it's mostly alcohol, but there is witch hazel, there is autoin, there's some glycerin in here, some tea tree oil, some aloe vera. So there's some very nice skin um, nutrients in here for you. And mm, I just like going double, but feeling that, yeah, I don't think it's not the strongest scent. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last maybe, maybe for an hour, maybe two tops, you know, I think the dry down is going to get a lot of it. And then I don't think I've been finishing it on camera, but with a lot of my shades recently, I've been using Sudsy Soapery. This is the unscented aftershave balm. It's fantastic. It just takes a little bit on your face and it just feels freaking awesome. Okay, so hopefully that little bit goes away. If not, I'll figure it out. Probably use a styptic pencil, which I have here, if I need to. But that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, once again, uh, this was Oleo Soapworks number 11 based on my son Margiela at the barber with the matching aftershave West Coast Shaving 78S with an open comb head and with a bunch of soap in it still is somewhere in there you'd see the logos but it's the West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb brush this is in the blue colorway with a 26 millimeter finest badger knot that was it Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any comments, questions, just leave them down below. Love to hear them. Um, but we'll see you in the next one. Peace.